it is I, Brown Girl Bella, back again for Sunday Sips. I am so excited to be bringing you yet another Sunday Sips, where I am sipping hint water today. <laughs> you know, it's T minus less than four weeks to my birthday, still trying to get these last few snatched for the birthday. So, you know, water for me. Mm. Forgive me. Hold, please. Yes. Let's see who we got in the house today. You know how we do. As always, we, you know, give you a little song when you come in. So let's start that off. Brown Girl Bella. Who Melanin, Melanin, first liker. I love it. That's why he said like button there. Get out, friend, post, all you know. Let him know where her boat is in the house. Hey, Lori. What's going on? Hello, hello. Hey, my sissy bird. Hello. Elevate, elevate, elevate with her. Brown girl, Bella. I, I was wondering what's up. My TV said you weren't coming on until 8 p.m. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Not 8 o'clock. Hey, God. Why TV trying to play me, girl? TV trying to play me. No, I'm here. Stop it here because Dream just came over here and I am. You want to say hi? I want to say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say, say hello. Say hello. No, don't don't try to lick me. Say hello to the people. You want to come over here? Yeah, I know. I know. Anywho, I put her down because anybody got time for that. What are you doing? You flopping all over the floor? Don't do that. <laughs> she want to kiss me all over the face, and I just put my new top secret. I can't show you yet. Ma'am, <laughs> you here growling? I just put my new top secret foundation on, and I can't show you what it is because it's a secret. But I like it. So far, so good. I'm going to be trying it on all this week. I need to record that video too. Oh my goodness. So much stuff to do. So little time to do it in y'all. So we're going to talk about luxury beauty today. I'm going to tell you all about, hey, I see some new people coming in. Hey, James Money. Welcome in. Yes, you heard her? <laughs> Listen, you heard her, right? What a mess, this little girl. She is too funny. So we're going to be talking about luxury beauty today. Yeah, they heard you. Don't try to get all cute now. They heard you in there growling because I put you on the floor. I put you on the floor. Yes, on the floor. 
on the floor. I can't wait until she gets groomed, y'all. She has a grooming appointment this week. I think it's Friday. She back over there growling again. I think it's on Friday. I want to say that's when it is. Yep, Friday. Can't wait. Can't wait. She's going to the same groomer that uh, Brooklyn used to go to, Dream is going to. I'm going to put our brows on. And I'm so happy because he really is a very, very good groomer. And so I'm so excited because she went to my aunt's house when I went on vacation and she came back a hot mess. <laughs> she came back a hot mess. Um, part of her face is like yellow. I don't know if she was laying in pee or what the heck happened. I've been trying to get it out um, using a little mix of hydrogen peroxide and water. And it's a little better, but he'll be able to really like get it out. And then as you see, her hair has grown so long, you can't even see her eyes. So she needs her bangs cut. She needs her paws groomed like around the pad. It's She's just a hot mess. <laughs> she's a hot mess. But I know Mike will get her right. Lori, you were in the same boat. She said, my Maltese mix got groomed last Friday. Thank God he looked terrible. Yeah, like she's like all long and I know he'll he'll hook her up. He'll hook her up. I'm not worried. Hey, James Guype Guy, thanks for coming in. Thumbs up. I appreciate you. All right, so let's just talk a little bit about some trends that will continue to dominate in this now back half of 2023. Can you believe it? It'll be September in a matter of weeks. And summer will be gone in a blink of an eye. And fall is right around the corner. Fall is one of my favorite seasons, not just because it's my birthday, although, you know, that, that helps that it's my birthday in the fall. But also fall fashions, fall beauty, just the colors of autumn and you know, everything that just goes with it are all things that I really and truly love about the fall weather. Plus, it gets a little, you know, a little cooler, you know, not cold, but just cool enough that I can wear my fall boots and my nice pumps and, you know, my little sweater dresses, you know, ladies, all those things that we like to make us look cute. So all of that will be coming up soon. It's all the things that I love. But not only that, the trends that I'm seeing in beauty and in fashion, man, it's got me so excited. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. First and foremost, I love this trend that we have been kind of on since the beginning of the year, and that is a move to more meaningful beauty. So what I mean by that is beauty being packaged in environmentally friendly packaging, um, the ingredients being more skincare focused, and really pushing forward that idea that Skin care does not have to be the sole place where uh, hydration and skin care properties happen. You can put it into makeup as well and have that be an added bonus. So I'm seeing a lot of foundations, um, for example, with SPF, which you usually only see in skincare and in your sunscreen or sunblock that I hope all of you are using like 
every single day. Even when we get into the fall and winter seasons, you should always, always, always use an SPF for your skin. It's just going to help protect the skin from the sun rays. And nowadays, you know, because we've done so much to the environment, the rays are getting stronger and stronger. And so we really need to add that extra protection on to really make sure that our skin is protected from the sun rays. So that's one thing. The second thing that I will mention is that with all these new packagings, uh, things are becoming less and less bulky, meaning hopefully our landfills will be more protected because now um, there's going to be less waste. So you'll see a lot of boxes that packages will come in like this one. I got a little something in PR. We'll talk about that in a moment. But you're seeing more packages come in things that are environmentally friendly. So they'll break down easily in the landfills. The packagings that we have, all of our beauty products in are sustainable packagings. Um, a lot of them are refillable. So you don't have to continually buy that. You can just buy the refill. Those are things that will help us a lot in the long run, really eliminate a lot of our excess waste that we have. So that's one thing that I'm really, really happy about. The other thing that I love, and I touched a little bit on it just a few minutes ago, but this need for a hybrid of formulas, right? This beauty um, trend that we're on is like, it does a lot more with a lot less packaging. So we're seeing a lot of multitasking, hybrid cosmetics infused with uh, skincare additives and just having us do a lot more with a lot less. So I love that. Um, you're going to see a lot more of that come the fall and winter time. You're going to see a lot of uh, skin care products, which calm and balance and fortify the skin. But also you're going to see a lot of things that are kind of like one and done. A lot of products that do double, triple, even quadruple duty. Um, I know Maybelline is coming out with a uh, foundation that's like a four in one. So that's coming out. Um, L'Oreal, same thing. A lot of places are coming out with these different products that give you primers, um, hydration, sunblock, and coverage all in the same product. So a lot of that will be coming out. And that will be helpful for us because, again, it shows us that we can do a lot more with a lot less bulk and products. Um, also, a lot of nostalgic trends that we had back in the 80s, back in the 90s, all of that is coming back. Um, you've seen it in hair, but we've also seen it in makeup looks. I did a grunge look last week that uh, hikens back to the 80s and 90s, um, terms like goth and grunge and pop rock and um, all of those types of eras and trends those will continue into the fall and winter. Um, so a lot of that uh, trends that we've seen in the top half of the year, even the Barbie trend that, you know, everybody's doing right now with all of the pinks and what have you in the fall, you're going to see it translate a little bit and change a little bit. It's going to get a little darker. So it's going to get more dark red and purples, but it's the same type of, look that we had in the top of the year with that bright pink Barbie beauty, just muted down for the fall and winter time. So that's exciting. You know, you don't have to put away all of your pinks just yet. And if you have a lot of purples 
and dark browns. You're going to see a lot of dramatic smoky eyes and a very dialed down kind of base, which is a throwback to the 2000s, really kind of focusing on the eyes and the lips and a lot less on the overall aesthetic of the foundation. So that's another thing that we're going to see a lot of in the fall. And actually, that's something that we're going to do today. So today's look, I want to kind of modernize the Barbie and take it away from the pinks and bring it into more of the mauve colors and more of the burgundies for the fall. So that's going to be the basis of our eye look today. And then everything else is going to be really subtle, really, you know, just hint and touches on the uh, blush, the uh, contour or bronzer. Everything else is going to be really soft, but the eyes are going to be the focus. The eyes and the lips are going to be the real focus for today's look. So that is what we're doing today. I'm actually going to start with the rest of the face. And before I do that, I do want to powder all over, kind of mute this down just a little bit and take the shine down a little, not too much, but just a taste. So I'm going to use my Pat McGrath powder just to take the shine down just a little bit. I don't want to eliminate the shine totally, but I do want to get that shine around the T-zone to just relax a little bit. Hey, BG, BDBGP, what's up? How you doing? How you feeling? How you living? How you doing? How are you, sir? Coming off the heels of your birthday. And then you went to see a lady too, right? That's fun. I have to um, get out to Arizona. I've always wanted to like really like hang out there. I've gone for work, but that was more like an in and out thing. I want to like really go. I want to go to a spa and like really hang out. See the sights. Yes. I know that's right. Party mode. Party, party, party. All right. Let's put some blush on. I'm going to use our Gucci blush. This is one of the newer ones. This is Intense Plum. I love this blush. You're going to see a lot of these plummy colors in the fall as well. So might as well get used to it, right? Might as well get used to it. Hey, VS Speaks Royally. How are you, beautiful? How are you? Yeah, Gucci's blushes don't sleep. Some of the best formulas that I have seen. If you are looking for a new blush, definitely consider. Yes, Intense Plum livens up the face like you don't really need a whole lot to just go there yeah i'm good beautiful how are you all right so we're gonna use the hourglass this has been out for a while this is that ambient uh lighting edit i'm gonna use it to go into this right here and just carve out my cheekbones a little bit using this bronzer. And again, we, we're not trying to overly saturate the face. 
with color. The um, blush does a lot of the work for us. We're just using the bronzer to just chisel out a little, a little bit. Some on the forehead as well. Just to carve us out a little bit. Bam! And like I said, you don't need a lot. You could stop here if you want to just, you know, give the face a little dimension. But you know me. I don't ever stop. I never stop. Don't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. We're gonna use this to give me a little bit of glow right on that upper cheekbones, baby. Gotta have that glow. That's one um, bad point about using natural bristles. Sometimes you get the brush hairs on your face. So sometimes you have to just powder it off to get it off your face. All right. Hold, please. I need to turn to get my powder. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to use our Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. If you babes have been here for any length of time, you know this is one of my favorites. I even took it with me on vacation. And I love it because it just blurs everything. Just gives you a nice filtered look to the face without looking like too powdery. So pretty. It's a nice chiseled look. Perfect for photos and going out and doing what you need to do without worrying about looking too oily. It's like an oily girl and a combo oily girl like myself. It's our best friend. Take that shine down, honey. Take that shine down. All right. Now, let's get to... Oh, hang on a second. BGB, I'm going to have another B.O.B. club dance party type beat battle again. Oh! at Club Beer, so be ready to help judge again. All right. I'm there. I'm there. Just let me know. Just let me know. All right, babe. So we're going to use Natasha Denona's My Dream Palette. I haven't used this in a little bit, but I figure because we're using some, you know, purples and mauve tones, this would be really good for that. And I did order the new Natasha Denona palette. Yes, I ordered it before I ordered the Pat McGrath. Can you believe it? Oh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. As much as I love Mother Pat, and you know I love me some mother, I'm just not wowed about that new palette. But the Natasha Denona one looks really interesting. So I started with Nurture, which is a taupey brown. I'm going to put this all over the eye. I tell you, this palette was so slept on. Like, I think people liked it for a moment and then... You know, as always, a lot of other stuff comes into play. And a lot of people, myself included, 
we get sucked into all of the new palettes and we forget to go back and revisit some of the ones that we loved, you know, and that we already purchased that are in our collection. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that lately. Hey, hey, no, 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 dream down. Get down. Come here. Get down. We're not doing that today. <laughs> All right. We're going to go in with Instinct, which is a um, cranberry-ish shade. I'm going to start to carve out that crease. So let me show you a couple of other things that are coming in to play this year. Um, again, if you are into fragrance, fragrance is having a big moment in beauty this year. There have been so many fragrances coming out and it is expected that some new ones will be coming into play as well. And a lot of the Gen Z have been getting into fragrance a lot lately too. But you're going to see a lot more play in the fragrance arena. I know Miss Beyonce will be releasing her fragrance this fall as well. How many of y'all are curious about that? I think I may get it because I didn't get her like other fragrances when that came out, you know, like the Britney Spears and all of that when all of those people started coming out with fragrances. I wasn't really into celebrity fragrances then, but after smelling the Rihanna one, which I still need to get because that smells amazing. I'm like, okay, I think I might be willing to, to check a few out. So on my radar are the Rihanna fragrance and then the Beyonce fragrance. Those are the only two like celebrity fragrances that I've been seeing lately that I have like an interest in. So that was a cranberry and then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into the plum shade in this palette called Edgy. And I'm going to start to deepen up the outer V with Edgy. And what I love about both Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, and a couple of others is that their formulas are so easy to work with. They blend so beautifully that you really start to see very quickly how your look is going to kind of come together. with just a few swipes of the brush. And you don't have to really dig into the product to get the efficacy out because they're so richly pigmented, it's easy for you to just dip your brush in and make short work of the colors. All right, hang on, I gotta get the hair from the brush on the eyeball. All right, look at that. So just to review, we're using the My Dream palette. So far I've used Nurture. Then I went into Instinct here. And then the last one that I just used was Edgy. Before I finish off the top portion of the eye, I'm just going to go back with those same three colors and do the lower lash line. 
starting with nurture. And I was going to do an all LYS look today using LYS products, but the products that I'm getting from the team did not come last week like I thought they would. So I have to wait until probably by the next Sunday sips, it'll be here. I will be able to do a full look using LYS products. I will say though, I probably won't use the eyeshadows. I'll show you the eyeshadows that I have. I think I only have one palette because not really a fan of their eyeshadows. I, um, I think that the formula is very going in with that last shade in the back half of the eye. I think the eye shades from LYS are a little drying and they're not really as pigmented as I would like to have seen them be. So I'm not really like wowed by their formula, but I love their, um, concealer. I've used that plenty of times before. I love their foundation. I've used that plenty of times before. Um, but yeah, when it came to, I'm going to use a little bit more concealer. This one is by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the beautiful skin. I just want to use just a little bit more clean up around the back half of the eye. Make it a little sharper. So yeah, so I don't really care for the eyeshadow, but everything else I really do, I really do enjoy. I like their translucent powders, really, really good. I love their highlighter. The blushes are really beautiful. They have a, a new like bold pink blush. I said I wanted to grab that before the summer is out because I really do want to try that one. So I may have to get it because I didn't get it with the order that's coming because I didn't see it until afterwards. So I have to probably go into a store and grab it afterwards. Okay, I like the way this looks. All right, now we're gonna grab a, another brush. We're gonna use, ooh, trying to find like a flatter brush for the lid. Okay, um, let's see what I wanna do with the lid. Hmm. I was thinking of going into this color risk here, but I think I may want to do spontaneous and then vision in the inner corner. Let's do that. Let's do spontaneous all over the lid. Give it a little, oops. There we go. Give it a little sparkle, right? Oh, look at that. Yes, that is pretty. That's a nice choice there, brown girl, Bella. Not bad. Bam, right? Hey, Trap Vision. Hey, sir. Salute to you. Thank you for coming. That was spontaneous, guys. Spontaneous decision that really paid off. Wow. 
We like her. We're not going to kick her out the bed. Right? Cute. Other eye. Listen, we're going to see a lot of these cranberry tones, a lot of these purple tones um, in our palettes this year. A lot of great stuff is coming out. I've seen some new, like, deeply pigmented stuff coming from Chanel. We'll take a look at them. You know. Um, we'll do like a little live player pass kind of thing. And uh, see, you know, what things we want to kind of keep our eye on. All right, so we're going to go into vision. And this is going to be for the inner corner. Just to add another little... Not too much, not too much. Just the right pop of color. Wow. I love it. I love it. I'm doing well. I'm doing well, my bro. How are you? How's my wifey? Your wifey, my franny. <laughs> How's wifey? Hope all is well. Aw. Mm, cyber hug, cyber hug. All right, just to review, everyone, we went into spontaneous right here. And then we took a little bit of vision. And then we put that right in the inner corner. Now I'm going to take black as black with my, I want to call it eyeliner brush, but it's just a straight angle brush. I like to stamp it in. to create that eyeliner. Bam! You know, sometimes when you're doing makeup and you're like, everything is just clicking. Like I wasn't thinking to use spontaneous on the eyes. And then when I did, I'm like, oh. I like it. It came out really good. Listen, sometimes you have to experiment, right? You have to say, okay, let's try it, right? Nothing wrong with trying out different things. In that lower lash line popping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I like to connect it just a little bit. Not doing a full wing with the shadow, but I like to connect the upper and lower just to kind of put that little button on things, right? Just a little bit. She's just getting over the bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got to call my cousin, actually, after this. Because she, um, she had the vid, too. It's not good. And I hear this new strand that's coming along for the fall. Not good. Not good. So I hope she feels better. Prayers. Prayers, prayers, prayers. 
All right. We like, we like, we like. All right. I'm going to spray down this face because y'all know me. My little stuff be springing up. Oh, please. <laughs> Listen, I have to spray my face because you know my little oils be popping right up. And we like a glow. We don't like to look greasy. There's a difference, please. Okay. Glow. Grease is not good. <laughs> Grease is no bueno. No bueno. All right, time for mascara. And usually when I do a look like this, I like to put on lashes, but today we're just going to do some mascara. But I like to do, you know, my primer. Because even though we put it on mascara, we act like we want the most boldest biggest lashes out there and when we do that you know we have to prime honey that's how we get those lashes to pop and stay popped you know you want those lashes that looks like oh my goodness what kind of lashes are you wearing shannon's <laughs> who makes those Jesus. <laughs> Who makes those lashes? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus made these lashes, honey. With a little help from our friends at L'Oreal and other places. All right. <clears throat> but Jesus, hold on to the main line, baby. Hold on to the main line. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing more and more and being plus uh <laughs> why boo oh girl quick slay my face color is purple ah <laughs> I love it I love it listen purple is coming back it never left it never left but it's really like you're gonna see a lot more people utilizing purples and mauves and those are all fun fall colors anyway but to see them now kind of get another boost is really really good it's really really good oh, I see like one little hair like you know when you're like looking in the camera you see like one little Aaron like <laughs> rogue hair like, just coming out that way like, what's going on there? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I'm going to have all y'all saying that. Look at you acting surprised when you know you're a professional beauty creator. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But listen, even I, like sometimes when I create, I'm like, wow, that's different than what I thought it was going to turn out to be. Everybody's like that. Yeah. I'm sure, you know, the greatest artists all have those moments when they're like, oh, that actually came out even better than I had imagined it would. Dream, I see you. You ain't slick. She over there trying to get something she ain't got no business getting. Yeah, don't look back at me. I see you. I can see you. Okay, now that this product has come out, let me tell y'all. If y'all are looking for a good mascara that's not going to eat at your pocketbooks, Take a look at this mascara. This was one coat I just put on. This is Fan Fest by Benefit. 
I took this with me when I was on vacation. I couldn't tell y'all because it hadn't come out into the market yet. And so I used this the entire time. Look at this. Look at this one coat. Primer, just primer. Primer plus mascara. I'm sorry. ¿Qué? Mírame. Mírame. I'm telling you. Benefit has done it again. Now, I love Benefit's brow products. And I've tried their mascaras, but this one, man, she's different. She's different. First of all, this angle, I love because you see these bristles right here at the bottom. You see that? They hug your lashes like nobody's business. And when it comes to getting those hairs at the bottom lash line, this does such a good job. Look at this. Look at this. I'm sorry, what? You can't tell me nothing. That was one coat. One coat. And if you want, you can put another coat on. I'm going to layer different ones because I want you to kind of see. And I kind of want that, you know, I want that. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, that whole please with all that, you know, the releases. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I try, I try, I try. Just punching in this color. Nothing on the brush, but the foundation that I had originally on here. I like to just punch it in sometimes with whatever is left on the brush. Just again, to seal everything in. All right, I'm going to use the Wow. This is almost done, so I kind of want to finish it off. This is a tubing mascara, so it's going to add more fibers to your lashes to really make them appear longer and more wispy. Y'all know I love me a long, wispy lash, right? And when I can do it just by mascara alone, I don't have to use a lash. Listen, I was in heaven this summer. Because this sucker does not come off until you want it to. It does not come off, it doesn't go anywhere. Listen, on another note, who's seen Blue Beetle? Anybody seen that movie? I just saw it this morning. So good, so good that movie. I loved it. First of all, I love that there is now a Hispanic superhero. I love that. I love that. And not to give anything away, it's good. Go see it. It's entertaining. It has, you know, poignant moments too, but it was really, really good. Really, really good. If you guys like DC Marvel comics or um, all of that jazz, this is a really, really good one. This is a really good one. Trap, you haven't seen it yet? Go see it. Go see it. When wifey feels better, take her to go see it. It was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed that movie. And I love, oops, sorry. Just trying to turn it around. And I love that, again, it's giving, you know, Hispanic people. And they're all new people. I didn't know any of these people. 
who were um, like the major characters of this movie. I didn't know any of them. Uh, the only ones that I knew of any prominence was Susan Sarandon. Yes, please go see it. Susan Sarandon was in the movie and um, uh, 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 the comedian, George Lopez. Those were the only two that I knew and recognized. Everybody else was, was new characters. I mean, new actors to me. And I love that. I love that. Because we're giving new people a shot. And they were good. They were really, really good actors. I enjoyed everything. The, the acting was good. The, um, the uh, fight scenes. All of it. All of it. Fan, fantastic. Fantastic. All right. So we're going to put some lipstick on. I'm trying to decide what I should do. Um, should I do like a bomb? We could do something like this, maybe. Mm. Mm. That is, ooh, Electric Lotus, one of my favorites from Pat McGrath. We could do that. We could do maybe a hotter pink moment. This is YSL. We could do that. Kind of even want to do like a like a nudie color, right? I could do like a nude and just let the eyes kind of do what it's doing. Right? Let me show you. I could do a nude. Oh, that's kind of goldy nude. But I can do that. This is Pat. Has a little bit of sparkle, but it's nude. And then I can take my pencil, oh, that's a mauve color. I wanna do like a nude, nude, nude. Mm, that's too light. Ah, let's do, let's do minted, minted cosmetics. Black owned. I also have an affiliate coat with them as well. That's nice. Gives it a nice taupey brown look, but not too, not too much. Just a little, little hint, little dot. I like it. Her bombs are so smooth and effortless. It's like, gives you hydration, gives you moisture, and it deposits some color as well, right? Whoop, whoop, love it. All right, so let's continue on with some things that are coming in to the market, as promised, I want to share with you some new releases. So for that, I am going to be going onto my Instagram. I'm gonna be looking at uh, WZ. Beauty. She has a lot of new products that are coming in to play. And I want to show those to you. All right. So let's, um, let's look at that. 
see. All right, so here's the first one from Guerlain. This is under the terracotta. This is their Healthy Glow Powder and Golden Leopard. They have some new lipsticks that are coming out, a satin and a matte. Uh, some light revealing pearls of powder that's probably going to come out during Christmas time. They have a new advent calendar. Um, all of this launches on October 15th. Again, you're going to see that plummy shade here come into play. That green is really pretty. I love that golden yellow as well. Isn't that pretty? So I would definitely want to play with this. This is a really good, solid collection. Um, I love the bullet. I love this um, green leopard here. <laughs> that is so cute. I should be on Network for Beauty. Come on, somebody. Come on, chat. Tell them. Tell them, chat. Tell them, chat. I hope so. I hope so. This is really, really pretty. I really like this. Um, here is some new lipsticks from YSL. There are a couple here I want to play with as well, especially when we get into these deeper colors. You know I love me a wine lipstick. I am a sucker for a wine lipstick. And these are, they're 15 shades. They say they're hydrating, long wearing, and have a satin finish. Love a satin finish lipstick. So definitely one that is on my radar. Some Givenchy. This is a um, eyeshadow palette here. Again, we see that plum, those deeper pinks and those mauve colors. Also orange, which I have not seen in a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I'm really excited to see it here. Um, again, looks like there's another powder coming. Their loose powders are some of the best. I have two of them. I have number four, which is here. And then I have number, I'm sorry, this is number, yeah, this is number five, not number four. So this is number four. That's the one that I put on a little while ago. And then number five, which is deeper. Let me show you that one. That's the deeper one. You guys have seen it on my channel before. This is the one with the deep rose in it. Very, very nice. I love this. And then also they came out with blushes in that same type of formula. And so this one is number six. And I want to get the number five of this as well, because that's really, really pretty. I love this blush. I should have used it today. Actually, I'll put just a little bit on because it's very, very pigmented. But I do want to show you how it looks. So I'm only going to use a little, little bit because... Like I said, this is very, very pigmented, but I do want to show you how it just instantly pops onto the skin. Look at that. And remember, I have the Intense Plum by Gucci, which is also pigmented, but this just adds another little dose of warmth to the skin and I'm gonna tell you when it comes to this formula like you're gonna be in love if you try this you're absolutely gonna be in love and for deeper skin number five and number six are going to be your friend. Those who are a shade or two lighter than myself, four will probably be good for you as well. But man, oh man, I love the pigmentation it gives you. Very, very nice. Uh, 
the makeup industry is well over 287 billion. So you should be getting at least 25K a month for your expertise. Listen, I, I am not going to fight you. I, I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. Thank you. Thank you. It is interesting because what I'm finding now and those who are really enthusiasts for beauty, you're going to, you're seeing this too. I'm sure a lot of these bigger companies like the Givenchy's of the world and the um, Gucci's of the world and the like, they're starting to understand that that power of the black dollar is very, very powerful. So you're going to see a lot more pigmentation come out of these high brands that for decades, they did not give us a second look. But now because of the entryway from Fenty and from Pat McGrath and from a lot of other black owned brands, they're starting to see where that value is in the black dollar. And they're starting to cater more to our skin tone. Not saying that they're all the way there because they have a lot, a lot of ways to go to get to where we'll be totally satisfied because the spectrum of deeper skin tones is so wide and vast that they're still kind of stutter stepping to keep up with us. But I love the fact that they're even trying to do so because they understand that, hey, we spend just as much, if not more than our white counterparts. We deserve to have some colors that will um, appeal to our skin tone as well. So love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Chanel, another company that, you know, for a long time did not cater to our skin tone. I love that they are getting more deeper tones into their products. Um, one of the things that still eluded us from Chanel was getting eyeshadows that really would enhance our skin tones. So I'm starting to see, you know, that they're starting to make some inroads here. The last couple of shadows that they came out with, the quads were a little deeper. So I really, really love that about uh, Chanel. That they're really starting to, to get the memo. <laughs> um, here's some more from YSL for the holidays. I love, love, love this packaging. This is their cushion foundation. And I need a new cushion foundation. So I'm thinking hopefully they'll have my color here because I love this packaging. The quad, yeah. I'm not really too crazy about. Um, hopefully they'll have more colors than this, but the bomb looks good. Their lipsticks look good. And I do want to get um, one of the Libres because that's another uh, perfume that I've been waiting to covet. And it seems like they are expanding that line and getting um, more, uh, uh, long lasting fragrance notes in their products so that it lasts a longer period of time. So I love that. And so I'm really thinking hard about getting one. And now that they're coming out with an advent calendar, I'm curious because I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that some of these products will be in the advent calendar so we can try it out. But, um, you know, we did some advent calendar openings last year for Bellamis. I'm thinking about doing it again this year. So perhaps, you know, we'll take advantage of these advent calendars that are coming out. Maybe I'll get a YSL one. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to grab it. Hey, Michelle. Hey, how beautiful. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Our, our money is just as good. Just as good. Come on, get this cash. Come on, get this money. All right, let's see what else they have. Um, this is, what is this? 
Is this YSL? No, this is Dior. Excuse me. This is Dior. Now, I do have one Dior liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Forever Glam. And I want to get Forever Dream because, you know, my doggy's name is Dream. But this is Forever Glam. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. And I love this formula. Very, very pigmented. It's ultra shiny, as they say here. It comes in eight shades. Like I said, I have Forever Glam, but I do want to get Forever Dream. Here's a Prada. That is new. Prada just launched their beauty line. So they came out with lipsticks. I think they also have... Um, eyeshadows. So interesting. I, I want to look at this a little bit more. This lipstick looks a little um, interesting to me, but I do want to see some other things that they may have. Here is their foundation. They have a hyper matte and then they have a soft matte. Here's some more by Christian Dior. I already have one lip balm, but I like this color here. Um, this quad is pretty, but again, I have a lot of neutral tones. And then I just got the um, Natasha Denona one. So that's another kind of like um, neutral tone eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm good with neutral tones. I do want to get into more of these like deeper pinks, the uh, blues, the greens, and that gorgeous orange that we saw before. Um, these two by Tom Ford look really, really interesting. Um, Ambrosia, you know, had me a hello with that beautiful pink right here. But uh, Dark Opulence looks good as well. Uh, Valentino, you know, I'm loving this right here. This is all me right here. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. This looks like a cushion um, foundation. Um, so I love that packaging and it's a collector's piece. So definitely want to grab that. Hopefully it'll come out in the U.S. If it does, I'm definitely grabbing it. Here's some more Chanel. Again, we're seeing a lot of these deeper tones popping in. Beautiful. And then lastly, I want to share these fall makeup collection palettes from Chanel. This is um, really, really, um, this is a, a blush palette. And what I love about this, you see this? In the center here, that's going to give you a little bit of highlight, I believe. So it's kind of like that two in one where it gives you the glow and it gives you the pigment for the skin. So it's like a blush highlighting duo. I really, really, really want to grab this one right here. This one, you know, it looks like something I can probably have or duplicate. Um, Pat McGrath, I think, has one that is similar to this that I already have of blush, but this is something I definitely do not have currently in my collection. So I'm definitely eyeing that one. So those are some of the things that I'm kind of have, have my eye out on. My little tentacles are open and, and really want to test and try these. All right, honey, say, um, Give love to my sissy, okay? What time is your live tonight? Let us know. Let us know in the comment section below or in the chat. Just throw it in the chat. All right, before I go, I do want to share with you what I got in PR. This is from Versus. So they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do a video for them. And so they gave me a choice to pick some skincare products and some other products that I would be interested in. And so I kind of went shopping on their 
website and I grabbed a few things. I wanted to show you what I got. All right. And as I said before, the packaging here is all sustainable packaging. So, you know, feel good about the environment because you're not putting waste in it. You know, these are all things that can be broken down. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the versus, burst, excuse me, burst. Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Now, this is a retinol that you can use during the day. Normally, retinol um, you can only use at night because it interacts with the sun in a bad way. So when you use it, you can get an adverse reaction when it comes to contact with the sun. That's why it's very, very important, even when you use it at night, to use a sunscreen in the morning so you don't get an adverse reaction from using the retinol. So what retinol does is that um, if you have, you know, aging skin like myself, you know, I'm a woman of a particular age, so my skin is aging. So it gives you moisture, it gives you um, hydration to combat dullness. And it also, if you have any problem areas, it does help smooth out your skin in any problem areas as well. So this is the box. And then this is the packaging. We love we love. So that's the first thing that I got. And then I also got the Versed Total Package Replenishing Body Lotion. We can all use body lotion, right? And this has an SPF of 30. So you can put this on your skin as well. And then I got the Brightening Tightening Mask. This is a mask for the skin. It has no parabens, no silicones, no sulfates. And it is vegan and cruelty-free. It's a red clay mask with turmeric that gently exfoliates the skin to help brighten, improve the appearance of your skin's texture, and to leave your complexion hydrated and energized. So definitely a good thing to try. Hey, Bestie's in here. What's going on? Oh no, you think you got a burn in your nose? See, SPF, SPF. And always bring it with you, Bestie. Oh no. All right, so... We wrap this up so well, by the way. Okay. Um, I also got the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. This has willow bark and zinc blend. This is also good for when your pores are a little clogged. Let's say I'm not doing the best at <clears throat> drinking water. This will help you with hydrating the skin, getting those unclogged pores to get unclogged and give you that uh, radiance underneath. You had on plenty of sunblock. So how'd you get burned? Aw. Aw. Feel better, busty. All right, and lastly, this is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. So I'm trying to use a lot less of the makeup wipes because those are not good for the environment. So I'm going to try this uh, cleansing balm. There are a few out there that are really good, but I heard really, really good things about this. So definitely want to give it a try. And then... They also threw in a little headband. Isn't this cute? Looks like a crown, right? Let's put the tag off. Let's put the tag off. This is so cute. 
I feel like um, one of those medieval, mid-century uh, queens, you know, from back in the day. Now, now, my royal subjects. <laughs> oh, such a card. All right, so that's what I got from Burst um, Skin. And thank you very much, Burst, for choosing me to try out your products. I definitely will let you guys know in a get unready with me how this um, turns out. And I definitely want to use the mask too. I'm most interested in this because again, sometimes in the summer, you know, you're eating out, you're going to barbecues, you're going out to dinner, you're doing all these different things. And you get home and you're just like, let me just wipe everything off my face. And you don't really take the time to pour that moisture back into the skin. And so I really want to kind of give my skin a, a fresh start. Thankfully, knock on wood, my skin is not that um, prone to like breakouts and things like that. I have to be eating really, really bad for me to break out in that manner. So... I don't have too far to go, but I am going to try this. So we will film that. We will show it to you. Yes, right? I do want to stop using wipes because they're not good for the environment. And you use so many of them. I know when I'm doing like my swatches and stuff like that, I'm always, you know, getting out my wipes and wiping away. But I want to try to minimize it as much as possible. Oh, I forgot to use my, hang on. I forgot to use my Mac Prep and Prime, darling. What was I thinking? Hold please. Now, you might ask, hold please. Why is she using two sprays? Why she use the Charlotte Tilbury and now she's using MAC on top of it? Well, you see that matte look? You see that glow? That's why we like the extra glow. <laughs> we like the extra glow. Now you know. For every day, look, you don't have to do that, right? But because, you know, this is Brown Girl Bella, and you know Brown Girl Bella's a little extra. You know, you can do a little, you know, a little extra here. I have to, I have to do it. I have to do it. Gives me mattifying, but it keeps my glow looking like glow instead of grease. We like glow. We don't like grease. <laughs> So that's why I use both of them. But thank you versus skin. Thank you for my cute little headband. Here, I'm going to take that off because it's messing up my cores. My cores here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, unlike last week where I said I was going to go on after sips and totally lost track of everything that I was doing and went and did something else and then about nine o'clock at night, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to go live by after six. We're going to do it right now after this live. So after we close down, come join me on after sips over on my Instagram. You can see this in daylight. So you can see all the nuances of the look. We can chat for a little bit. You can tell me about some of the new products that you may have your eye on. Um, I am going to get the new Pat McGrath, as mentioned before. I just am taking my sweet time with it. I did order and I am getting the new Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. It just looks beautiful. If you haven't seen it, let me show you really quickly what it looks like. Here we go. It to me is like a toss between the 
retro glam palette, the regular glam palette, kind of like a hybrid between those two and gives me a little Biba vibes as well. But I am so glad that I got it. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. I need a nude. Here we go. So let's share. Oh, you did. You got to be quick. Okay, so let me tell y'all, for my members who are in here, let me tell y'all a little bit about how to get these freebies, right? So for those who are in my membership, I do a freebie. Hang on a second. I'm going to fan while we talk. I do a freebie Friday, almost every Friday. I try to do it every single Friday. And I usually drop them around one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But they go so, so quickly. I think I got that scrub. So if I did, I will put it aside for you, Sansy, because I don't need it. I have tons of scrubs. But when I see something and it's really good, I kind of save it for a giveaway. But I did get that. And I did get the hair thing. The hair thing I'm really going to use because I am getting little spots here where my hair is um, not growing as quickly. So, yeah. Um, so I did get that. Oh, you were on the vid. Oh, yeah. You ain't getting no signal, girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I usually drop it around one o'clock. So whenever I drop it, even if I don't put it in the Instagram, which I try to do, you know, put it up on Instagram to remind you guys to check the community tab. Just go on the community tab around one o'clock on Friday, grab it, get it. All you have to do is pay the shipping and handling and it's yours. You got that hair serum? Okay. Did you look it up? I saw so many positive reviews on a hair serum. I'm so excited. I'm starting to thin out like right around here and like right in the top of my head. So... Hopefully, you know, that serum will help me a little bit with that. But um, yeah, I'm so excited I got that serum. Hey, Celia. Hey, beautiful. Welcome in. All right. So let me show you all the I Need a Nude palette by Natasha Denona. So this is a midi size, which is the same as some of her other palettes, namely the Yucca that came out. Um, this was the last palette that came out before this one. So it's the same size as this one. Like I said, it gives me retro glam vibes as well as glam vibes. So let me show you. This is the retro glam palette. It looks similar to what the retro glam outside looks like. And then inside, it has more of those green tones to go with the vibe here. And then for this one, because it's more neutral, it has that neutral base as well. So let me show you the regular glam, which is, of course, all the way in the back here. And... Babes, for those who don't know, I am an affiliate now with Natasha Denona. I'm waiting for her people to get back to me so I can get my code. But as soon as I do get my code, I will share it with you all. So this is what the glam palette looks like. So again, it definitely gives me glam palette vibes with that retro glam outside look and feel. All right, so you might be wondering, if I got this, why did I get the I Need a Nude? Well, let's dive in a little closer to see the color story. So this color story is very much in the same vein as this one, but 
if you see like the colors here on the eyes, much deeper, much deeper than this one. So I really, ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Love, love, love. Love these looks. That's right up my alley. So nice. Love that smoky look. Remember I said smoky eyes are here to stay. I love that. That's me all day too. So pretty. Okay, 15 muted rosy and nude shades. It has a, a brand new wet effect sparkling and glossy finish formula. You know, Natasha is famous for giving us all these different formulas. So she gave us, uh, I think, one new formula in this one. But in all of her palettes, she gives us some kind of new formula. So excited to try it. Like I said, I already ordered it. So it should be coming soon. It should be coming soon. Uh, you are thinning in the top. I went to a dermatologist and it's back. Yeah, that's my next step is to go see our dermatologist as well. So as a matter of fact, you reminded me I need to go and make my appointment to go see her um because i really and my my um hairstylist she is also um licensed to uh investigate like the scalp i forgot what they call it but she's licensed to do that now so she's going to be giving me treatments to kind of help rejuvenate the follicles so that we can start growing the hair again in those places so between the two of them, her and, and the dermatologist, hopefully we'll be back to normal um, by the end of the fall season going into the winter. So, cause it's not that bad yet, but I wanna kinda hold it off at the path before it gets too, too bad. All right, so that is it. Like I said, I ordered the new Natasha Denona. As soon as that comes in, you know we're going to dive into it and do it. I do owe you that LYS uh, one brand deep dive. So as soon as I get those new products from the brand, I'll be back on here to share with you what that looks like and do a full demo with all of the products that I have from LYS. Minus the eyeshadow, because I'm really not feeling um, the eyeshadow that they have. But again, if you have Instagram, you're on Instagram, check me out, Brown Girl Bella. I'm going to head over there now. We're going to go outside. We're going to look at this face in the daylight. So you can see all of the nuances and the goodness. You can see these lashes too, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all of that good stuff. And, uh, you know, let's put the outro music on because we're about to be rolling up out of here, baby. All right. Until next time.